Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily chat GBT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the app of Facebook and seeing how we can integrate Zapier and chat GBT. Welcome back to the series where we're tackling all 5,000 apps found on Zapier's backend and seeing how we can leverage AI with every single one. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the context of Facebook and seeing how we can leverage ChatGPT in this use case. Today, we're going to be making a AI generated Facebook post where we're going to schedule out a specific day in the week, and then we're going to push out a AI generated image with a AI generated caption and then push it towards our Facebook profile. All right, let's go ahead and begin. So we're going to go ahead and choose the trigger. And this is just going to be a very simple trigger here of schedule. So if you're familiar with our tutorials, you already know what's going on here. And we're going to go ahead and just do every week. I'm going to continue here and we're going to choose the day of the week. Let's just say Monday. And then we're going to do the post on to be noon. We're going to go ahead and test this trigger. And then essentially that means that every Monday at noon, we're going to trigger this flow and everything that precedes it will occur. So the first step we want to add here is going to be an open AI block here. And this is essentially going to allow us to build out the AI generate image. So we're going to do generate image. We're going to continue here. We're going to make sure we choose our correct account here. So for us, it will be open AI. And then we're going to go ahead and begin structuring our prompt. If you're not familiar with prompt structuring or the best way to build out a Dolly prompt, we're going to go ahead and link this down below. And this is a marketplace where essentially you can go ahead and search a ton of different images. And essentially you'll pay, you know, three to four bucks and you'll be provided a specific type of output. So for today's context, we're dealing with Dolly. So you'd go to the Dolly section here and you can go ahead and search through here and find a AI image content that you like. So for today's video, we're going to use a pre-designed prompt here that is specific for food. In theory, I could have a variable you put into that little uh, variable block that's requesting. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and put in something as simple as ribs. And we're going to go ahead and upper size to 1024 by 1024. This is the sizing the image by pixel. We'll go ahead and test this action. And then we should produce a uh, photography photo of ribs in the style of a Michelin star restaurant. So all you need to do to check it out is you're going to come over here to copy this link, make a new tab. Once you make a new tab, as you see to the left of me, we got our Michelin style ribs. Honestly, I prefer something like chili ribs or something like that, a little bit bigger. You know, that's not enough food for me. But for now, we got our nice picture of ribs here and we're going to go ahead and proceed with the GBT caption. All right. So now that we have the image generated here, let's go ahead and add our niched out caption here. So we're going to go ahead and make a chat GBT block. And then from here, let's go ahead and just take the context of what we're producing here. So in this context, we're dealing with Michelin star restaurants. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and then I'm going to go ahead and make an event here of conversation. And let's go ahead and input some variables here. So starting off, we can keep username the same, assistant name the same, assistant instructions the same. The model here, I typically like increasing to GPT-4. In theory, you could use 3.5, but just take into account that you're going to require a lot more prompt structuring. And then from here, we can keep the max tokens. Temperatures can be the same. Memory key, I like to include as well. So we're going to say cook FB. Essentially, this ensures that every single output will be the same here. And we're going to do a little trick here that you're going to be able to use in any of your flows, which essentially makes it so that, you know, when you're dealing with unique content like captions, articles, and so on, you want to ensure that the content isn't regurgitated and it isn't like every day's Apple, Apple, Apple. You want some differentiation so it looks like a human gave its input rather than, you know, the exact same caption every time with slight variations. We're going to say based off the picture theme, semicolon parentheses, and we're going to do the theme of a Michelin star exceptional cuisine, generate a caption that is for Facebook and grabs attention. And then on top of that, let's add our nice little trick here. We're going to do a parameter block here. We're going to say never repeat the same caption. And you might be asking yourself, well, how is it going to know that every time it does a run through? because of the fact that every one through is its own flow, right? The reason it knows that is because of the fact that we added that memory key. Think of a memory key like a new chat in you know, ChatGPT's regular UI, and essentially it can contextually tell what you've said in the past. Therefore, every time it does a run, it knows contextually what it's been generated in the past, allowing for unique content every single time. From here, this should be sufficient of what we're trying to achieve today. We're gonna go ahead and continue here and we're going to go ahead and test this action. 
All right, perfect. So here from the content, we got feast your senses on an exclusive culinary journey at our Michelin star restaurant. Exceptional cuisine awaits you. Some emojis, some hashtags. I could add more parameters here saying no emojis. I could add more context here if we want these kind of hashtags. But for now, this should be sufficient. And this is what we're looking for here. And if you're new to the channel, you're going to like this next step here as we're going to be able to show you a very very fundamental tool when it comes to structuring data when it comes to chat gpt and that's going to be a formatter block essentially a formatter block allows you to manipulate data such as date time numbers utilities so we're going to be manipulating text as that is the output for gpt and we're going to use the function of replace and we're going to input the data from that output which is going to be the assistant response message then we're going to essentially find the quotation marks as you see right there the original one had quotation marks you don't want quotation marks when you're doing an automatic social media post. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look professional. We're going to replace it with empty space here. And then we should be able to get our final caption with no quotation marks. Perfect. All right. So now that we have our final caption here, we can add our final step of this flow, which is going to be our Facebook pages. And essentially, Facebook pages allows us to create a published photo. This could be a video. This could be, um, you know, just regular text, whatever you may choose to do in your context, you can go ahead and proceed with that. For us, we're going to do create page photo. We're going to go ahead and choose our page of web cafe AI. The underlying photo that we're going to use here is going to be the image URL. And one thing I want to point out is if you're debugging and working through flows, when it comes to Zapier, you got to understand for open AI, when it produces an image and that URL exists, that URL is only going to be good for around 30 to 45 minutes. Therefore, if you're dealing a very complex flow and then you try to input, you know, the image URL found in open AI and you're having issues and, and you just don't know what's going on, rerun the open AI block and then replug in that URL 10 times out of 10, that is going to be your issue. And you're going to be able to proceed from there. From here though, we have our image URL and then the description is going to be the formatted text and not the original conversation by chat GBT. And then we're going to hit continue here. And then all you need to do is hit test action and that would push towards our Facebook. If you feel like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at Web Cafe AI. If you want to learn more about AI, Zapier, and AI automation in general, check out the playlist at the end of this video as that is the playlist that we're tackling all 5,000 apps found on Zapier's backend and showing you how to integrate AI with every single one. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.